you beautiful souls it's savni and welcome back to my channel which is an experiment with self i trust you all are thriving can you believe it's already 2024 and today it's an extra special video with a story that's close to my heart towards the end of last year I found myself exploring the stunning landscapes of New Zealand and something extraordinary happened. We crossed the paths with a 68-year-old dynamo, a human bundle of energy who not only guided us through the Kiwi wonders but left us utterly inspired. We met our guide Dirk, a living testament to the fact that age is just a number. picture this he effortlessly lifted all our three big bags which were of 50 pounds um to our hotel room which was on the second floor before we even had a chance to catch our breath <laughs> he led us on some beautiful hikes always ahead of us cheerful and ready to answer all our questions that was the moment i knew there was something special about his lifestyle Dirk wasn't just our guide. I think he became a source of unexpected wisdom, teaching us life lessons in the most unassuming way. Intrigued, I mustered the courage to ask him if he would be willing to share the secrets behind his infectious lifestyle. And to my delight, he agreed. <laughs> And today, I am thrilled to present to you the man himself. Dirk as he graciously shares insights into his energetic lifestyle. So without further ado, let's dive into the conversation with Dirk. Get ready to be inspired, my friends. We know about healthy living. First, I have to say that healthy living has a lot to do with the way you react to um to others to the circumstances that come to you the challenges that you get and few people um have control over their desires over their uh, speech um their balance when they are um confronted with people that um wish them ill or people that are um giving them um bad advice or want to do them harm and so then you need to keep your poise and your and your calm and when you are balanced inside then um the emotion doesn't come up and so you can address these things in a forgiving way in a gentle way in a calm way and that has a lot to do with health with um being of good health um because emotion has got a lot to do with not good health and especially negative emotion on the other hand you can of course do a lot of good with um good food healthy food 80% raw raw food eat no meat uh and things like that but more important i think is the fact that um you breathe in the prana the vital life force which comes from the source name it god if you want uh is the universe which is one soul which is one being and we're all part of it and so that being sends out light and love and vital life force all the time and we just have to connect and breathe it in and so if you do that um then you stay healthy you have to do it consciously because most people just breathe unconsciously but if you do that consciously and you know that within that breath is also a um prana uh vital life force then you can direct it to anywhere in your body and when you direct it to anywhere in your body the blockages will go away so one very good exercise that i do practically every morning is i bring in the vital life force through my toes through my feet through my heels all over through the body it takes 15 to 20 minutes um and i feel it i feel that life force go in through my body and it goes all the way up 
and then I go into my intestines, my large intestines. So I, I even name all the organs that I have and all through the body, through my mouth, ears, eyes. Um, and then you are actually pretty good to uh, go and, and encounter the world um, because you feel great. Um, I've I never wear any glasses. I haven't. Yeah, I would wear sometimes glasses for the sun, but um, I could still read. I'm practic. I'm 68, or next year 69. I can still read. I can see far. I can hear very well, and so I've been, to be honest, very healthy all my life. But I lived according to these principles, and when you live according to these principles, then. There is not a lot that can ruffle you. There's not a lot that can, um, you know, take hold of you, as whether it's a disease or whether it's emotions, uh, negative emotions that come from others. You just um, stay calm. It's pretty, yeah. And how many years are you practicing this kind of lifestyle? Well, I started practicing before I met my wife, and we know each other 25 years. So it's actually after I had an, uh, an experience that was very profound. I, um, I did some exercises for a whole year. Um, Otto, um, I don't know exactly the word anymore, but you, you hold your hands and you, um, you say to them, I feel warm and I feel heavy and you do that through all your body and um, you do that every day and I did that for a year and after a year and I started meditating and after a year I had this enormous flash of light and a crack in my head since then I just started doing all these things to you know be healthy spiritual knowing that I'm a soul um, and um, yeah and live according to the laws of the of the universe or try to live according to, to those laws because it's not always that easy and what kind of food do you eat every day well i don't eat a lot that's the first thing you never overeat uh, in the morning uh, uh, two fruit fruits uh, at home only half of each of fruit half a uh, kiwi and half an orange and then uh, at lunchtime we may have a when i'm at home a salad and in the evening a soup and that's mainly it yeah. di different kind of yoga exercises yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the main thing the main thing to stay healthy is to don't have any negative uh, thoughts uh, don't let negative emotions take hold of you be always calm and poised in whatever situation because negative emotions are really really bad for for your body for your uh, all your organs and so like anger is going to be with your liver and your in your heart um, so if you are calm that is you already have the 60 percent of your health um, the other 40% will come maybe, will come from the energy that comes in from the source. And uh, some uh, you could eat lots of things and don't have anything wrong with your health as long as you stay always calm. The problem of course is if you eat meat, red meat, you won't stay calm because that will bring up emotions. That will bring up anger, that will bring up frustrations. So stay away from red meat. That's, that's my advice. Energy is yeah. coming from, from uh, the source. It's more the primer. If you, if you uh, breathe in a, in a certain way, you keep that energy and you direct it. Mm -hmm. So um, you have positive breathing, you have neutral breathing, and you have uh, negative breathing. And so if you, have, if you do positive breathing, that means that your breathing to a certain, say for instance, I, I breathe it into my arm. You know, I direct it to my arm oh. and I keep it in. 
I keep the breath and I do. And then I breathe out. That's positive breathing. That will help a lot for bringing energy to your body. And so energy is all about, also, well, not all about, but also about your, your state of mind. The state of mind, the energy that you bring in, and the mind is very powerful and bring it with your mind to the places that you need to go and when you walk you get even more energy mm -hmm. i can walk and keep walking because the walking even give give me energy mm -hmm. all the buildings and all the exhausts of the of the vehicles and um it all plays a role uh, for you to because you can't breathe when you breathe, well, you can breathe, but when you breathe, you breathe all that stuff in as well. Mm -hmm. So it's it's definitely not as not as good for energy. That's why I will never want to live in the city. I just want to live in the outskirts and have all the necessities at my footsteps. Mm -hmm. I just walk maybe twenty minutes or half an hour, and you go to the supermarket or whatever you need to have. Mm -hmm. But it's also very interesting. Or very good for you to uh, grow your own salads, mm -hmm. grow your own lettuce and all sorts of things. Yeah. Um, so is there any message you want to give out to the people who are younger generation? They, they are certainly getting more issues because they are living in a, a concrete jungle. Mm. Um, is there any message you want to give out to them? Well, the only message I want to give is to um, realize that you're not the body. Realize that you're a soul and that everything that's in the universe um, is all part of that one being and we are part of it too. So um, if you start realizing that you're a soul, then you start living in a different way. Mm -hmm. And then you can um, address the issues that you have and the challenges that you come because you will be far more ready for it when you realize that the body is just the clock just like the universe is the clock for mm -hmm. God or for the source because behind that is that huge big being there you have it my wonderful audience wasn't that interview with derp just incredibly enlightening i know i am leaving with a heart full of inspiration and i hope you are too now here is the exciting part drop a comment below and share which part of the video resonated with you the most did Dirk's word about the power of thoughts and perception impacting health strike a chord or perhaps it was his wisdom on the life force. Your insights matter to me and to everyone in the world. And I can't wait to read your thoughts. Personally, I found every nugget of the wisdom he shared incredibly valuable. The idea that our thoughts and what we perceive can affect our health is a gentle reminder we all need. And the concept of life force and being calm it's truly the essence of living a vibrant life. All right, it's time for me to sign off. But before I do, let's spread the love. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Share it with someone who needs a dose of inspiration. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more uplifting content. Goodbye.